So, hey, what's going on? So I brought you here another interesting find of mine. It's a uh, silver or I guess what is called unplated penny. Now, these zinc pennies, this is a zinc penny. It came out at 2.58 grams, 2.59 grams. It's got luster to it. It's definitely not stripped of luster. Um, it actually looks pretty awesome. If you, if you look, it does have striation lines. Um, now, the reason I mention all these things is because those would be telltale signs of a coin that has been chemically stripped, right? So the coin will be all messed up. Uh, it won't have this, this shine coat to it, that luster coat that you see here, that shine. It wouldn't have that. Uh, it would definitely have, probably, <laughs> might have a bunch of little uh, copper pieces chipping off of it. Now, this penny, what it has, I don't know what that is up there. We'll look at it in a sec. It might be something that got caught on there. But uh, this penny has a whole broken die right there, right up under FG. The die, like, it's, it's completely broken. If you look, there's a little crack coming off of the building under FG. And another one on this side. If you look, there's a little crack coming off. So, put up a little closer for you. So, this coin has gone through some stuff, right? Now, I am going to throw it under the scope here to examine it a little closer. Yeah, it's really good. I don't, you don't want to touch it on the face. You don't want to touch it on the rim either. You don't want to touch the coin at all, apparently. But, it is pocket change. I did find it in my pocket. And I do want to demonstrate it, right? I am trying not to touch the uh, the obverse or the reverse face at all. If you look and see, you can see the little lines that usually get stripped off when the coin has been chemically altered. Um, now, the unplated zinc coins usually tend to underweigh at, you know, 2.8 four two to like 2.48 instead of 2.50 which is the normal weight for a uh zinc penny right um, look at this guy it seems like he's got something coming right off of his nose there um so my whole thing behind this is that it weighs 2.5 nine 2.58 grams so it's actually overweight so i think it's layered with zinc with uh yeah it has a la it has a zinc layer look there's some looks like there's some back ghost doubling maybe um there is a double die variety for this obverse and the reverse on a 1983 no mint mark or philadelphia Lincoln scent, right? That's the obverse. That's this. This is a reverse I See, so there's that that crack right there I was telling you about. And on the other side, there's a complete break. If you, when I show you a little closer, you're gonna see that that corner right there is completely chipped off. So crazy. So. Bam, this is, it's a beautiful scent, and I mean, otherwise, though, I mean, I absolutely love how it looks. It has a steel look, um, metal look, but it is indeed zinc. Uh, from what I understand, the weight corresponds to a zinc penny, or it might be copper, and it's just under, you know, it, it's, it's weighed out like that, supposedly it loses a little weight when the, uh, when it doesn't have the you know the, the 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 copper layer it takes off a couple of point oh somethings but if you look and see there right up underneath the ear you see that little bump underneath the ear um let's go a little 
是的。Well, again, I am going to do my best to not touch the face of the obverse or the reverse because you know we want to maintain as much value of any the coin still has, right? So. So I'm gonna try and do here. Let's demonstrate this to you as well as I could. Alright, so there's Liberty. Right. You see a little little bit so you don't see what you see in so that's like ghost doubling is what they call it. Right? Look, there is a tiny split, so this might have a small amount of double die in it. If you look under L2, there is a split under L. I don't really see it anywhere else there. Um, on the ear, I want to turn the black light up too much because then the break tends to mess with the uh, the image but if you look on the ear right there bam that's a double deer on any books by any standards right 1983 okay have a look at the eye Nineteen eighty-three Lincoln sent uh, blown up up close, uh, unplated zinc penny, right? Um, it has like a clunk sound, but it's like a heavier clunk sound. And again, it's like non-correct, non-characteristic. Oh, look at that! It looks like it's a bit of metal or um, zinc alloy or whatever it is built up there. Uh, so it might be what they call a cud. Um, but yeah, it's uncharacteristic that they weigh. There, there's what I was talking about, some dot break. Um, for it to weigh as much as it does, seeing that the plating has been Ripped, right? Uh, that looks interesting right there. It looks like a scratch in the metal though. The zinc, but that just goes, you know, this further proof that it's no copper layer on it. Um, so that's the obvious, right? Now the reverse. The reverse, I am going to So this is the reverse. So on the reverse, you got this thing right here, which you know the, the looks like it might have been struck again, right? So it might be broad struck. It might have got stuck. It might have got broad struck. And there's that there's that break right there. So what I realized. Say that it doesn't exist, but I'm just kind of wow. 
You know, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know anything about double dyes. But I will find out as time goes on. Now, I just put this on here. But that looks like it belongs on the building. It looks like it belongs on there. See that piece right there in the front of the building, that ornament piece? That's what that looks like that is up there on the rim. And actually right there too, oh I get it. Right there, something definitely got struck through. It's definitely a strike through, this is definitely a major uh, die break. Maybe the wrong planchette was used is what it might be. They probably struck it on the wrong planchet. Um, it's not metallic. So it's what I say, but what I, what I mean by that, I mean it's not, it doesn't stick to a magnet, but it does weigh um, 2.59 grams. It might've been an experimental uh, planchet might have been that the wrong planchet got fed into the machine but if you look there that looks like some separation maybe that looks like a bit of a drip coming off of the eye um, and so on so again I'm trying not to touch the coin but I don't want to show you guys what I'm looking at looks like there's something coming off of the C there in the background but we shall see <laughs> but, uh, he has a definitely something advancing off of it and I know for a fact that that thing is split in there so there is definitely some sort of double dying going on here on top of the fact that the coin has a die break major die break issue and it is unplated um, yeah, there it is. And all its lustrous beauty, right? It's beautiful.